magandang umaga po at mapagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. Bago po tayo mag-umpisa muli sa ating exciting na journey ng ating purpose-driven life. Manalangin po tayo. Magnificent God, we glorify you forever and ever. Patawaran niyo po kami sa aming nagawa at naisip na di kalugod-lugod sa iyo. Salamat po Lord sa umaga na ito, sa bagong pag-asa. Alam ko pong binigyan mo kami ng isa na namang araw para gamitin sa purpose mo at hindi lang ito masayang. Anoint this devotion that the lesson we will learn be applied in our lives and gave you glory. Bless the lives of each everyone who is here today. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sino pong may bonsai plant dito? Diba ang bonsai ay palaging inaalagaan, palaging chinecheck, tapos minemaintain ang kanyang itsura. Lahat ng attention mo na sa kanya ang cute-cute ng plant na bonsai. Pang-display lang talaga sa loob ng ating bahay. Tayo pa rin ba ay isang bonsai? na ang gusto natin ng lahat ng attention ay sa atin at pang-display lang ba tayo sa church? So, ang topic natin ngayong umaga um, ay how we grow. Okay, wow, nasa 20, day 23 na tayo sa ating 40-day purpose-driven life, sa ating journey ng 40-day purpose-driven life. So, let's read Ephesians 4.15. The Message Bible Translation God, want, uh, God wants us to grow up To know the whole truth And to tell it in love Like Christ in everything We take our lead from Christ Who is the source of everything we do From the scripture we read That um, we are not meant to remain children To be bonsai spiritually God wants us to grow up. Ang goal po ng ating Ama sa langit ay magmature po tayo at i-develop natin yung mga karakter ni Heso Kristo sa ating buhay. Nakakalungkot kasi maraming mga Kristiyano, millions all around the globe, mga Kristiyano na they grow old but never grow up. Hindi nagmamature, naging bonsai na sa kanilang pag-iisip. Gusto ba natin na ang spiritual body, spiritual life ay nakadiaper pa rin, nakabutis, nakapacifier, and drinking milk in a bottle? Pag naiimagine ko ito, parang, para siyang baby damulag ang spiritual life natin, ang spiritual body natin. Ano ba ang rason kung bakit nanatili na lang naging bonsai ang isang kristyano? Kung bakit ayaw nilang mag-grow up? Because they never intended to grow up. Kasi talagang ayaw nila. Ang pag-grow pag -grow, pag natin spiritually ay hindi po automatic. Hindi po ching nung tinanggap natin si Yesu Kristo sa ating buhay. Agad-agad na natin tayong nabago, nagmature. So sa lesson natin iyon, ating malalaman kung paano po tayo mag-grow. So it takes an intentional commitment. Talagang magkaroon ka ng commitment na sabihin natin sa sarili natin na you must want to grow. You decide to grow. Make an effort to grow. Persist in growing. So, meron po tayo sa mga churches natin. May mga sinasaluhan po natin na mga discipleship group. Kagaya sa amin, sa uh, Church on the Hill Christian Community, meron po kaming mga grupo, different groups. Young people, sa mga young people, sa children, sa men, sa women, kung saan pwede po kayong, pwede po tayong, mga yun nga, online, dumalo para tayo ay lalago. Pero ano pa ang discipleship? Kung dito po nangyayari yung mga discipleship, hindi po sa 
uh, Sunday celebration nangyayari po ang discipleship. Sa mga small group po natin nangyayari ang mga discipleship. Ano ba ang discipleship? Discipleship po ay uh, ito ay process of becoming like Christ. So yung mga disipulo, nung mga 12 na disipulo ng Heso Kristo, ano ba ang uh, unang ginawa nila? They always begin with decision. Disciples, the, the disciples of Jesus Christ, they decided to follow Him. So they committed, they committed to follow Jesus Christ. They committed, the, they commit themselves to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. So our commitments can develop or destroy you, uh, or destroy us. Yung mga commitment natin, pwede pong ma-develop, ma-develop tayo at saka i-destroy natin. Back. But either way, they will define us. So are we committed in this worldly activities? Mga, ano ba saan po tayo nakakommit? Every morning ba, paggising natin, always nasa FB na tayo o kaya? Are we seeking the Lord? Uh, early in the morning, are we reading our Bible? So, saan ba tayo nakakumit? In this worldly goals ba? Maging famous? Maging wealthy? But in the end, we ended frustrated? We ended in bitterness? So, every choice has eternal consequences. Lahat ng mga choice natin, whether good or bad, there is an eternal consequences. So, we should better choose uh, wisely. So, Peter warns, ni, si Peter, no, minarningan, nag-warn siya. Minarningan, sorry. nag siya, si Peter. So, since everything around us is going to melt away, what holy or godly lives you should be living? So, lahat po, ng, lahat po natin na makikita natin sa bundong ito, ay nag, they will melt away. So, ano ngayon ang, saan po tayo, um, uh, what, what should be living for? Holy o anong godly lives? Godly lives? Holy lives? Saan tayo makatuon? Kasi sabi nga, lahat ng ating uh, choices, the consequences, eternal, whether eternal condemnation or eternal, eternal joy, ganun po. So, meron pong dalawang bagay. How we grow up. Paano po tayo mag-grow? First, God's part and your part. So, once we, once you decide, once we have, once we have decided to follow Jesus Christ, we must begin it at a new ways. So, let go some old bad routines and develop good new habits. So, nung nag-decide po tayo na i-follow si Jesus Christ sa ating buhay, so, we let go all the old ones and the new ones comes. The Bible says, Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and act according to His good purpose. So, ano ba yung work, yung our part dito? Yung part po natin is to work out. To work out means our responsibility or yung i-work out po natin ang ating salvation. It means na we have to develop it to make it fertile, to yield it. Yung pabungahin po natin ang ating salvation na binigay na ng ating Panginoon na free. Hindi yung mag-work tayo para mag ang salvation. Hindi po. This is a free gift from the Lord, from God. So we have to work it out para lumago, i-develop po natin. So, ano po yung part ni Lord doon? Ano po yung God's part niya? It's to, the Lord, the God will work in. He is the Holy Spirit in helping us to overcome any circumstances in our lives and God causes our salvation to grow. So, God causes it to grow. So, you see, there's a part of us to do and God do also his part in our spiritual life, in our spiritual growth. So once our spiritual growth is healthy and growing, our outward also, we can see our outward being also is growing. 
So number two, changing your autopilot. Ano pa tong changing your autopilot? Ito po is to change your life. So you, if you want to change your life, you must change the way you think. So we have to change the way we think. Sabi nga, be careful how you think. Your life is changed by your thoughts. So our first spiritual growth is to start changing the way we think. Because the way we think determines the way we feel. The way we, f the, the way we feel influences the way we act. Yun po. So first of all, we have to change the way we think. If kung mga old na pag-iisip pag natin nun is hindi nakakatulong, ngayon po is we will change it into new one that helps us. So we must think like uh, like Christ. We are commanded to think the same way that Christ Jesus thought. So only about things that let me uh, let me tell you this but those who live following their sinful sinful selves think only about things that their sinful selves want in short yung self, selfish thinking is the source of sinful behavior kung palagi nang iniisip ang kapakanan ng kapakanan mo lang doon po nag iimpisa ang sinful behavior so second, under the changing your our autopilot. So second spiritual growth is to start thinking maturely. So how do we think maturely? So Paul says, um, Paul consider concluded that thinking others is the mark of maturity. So if we think others, we think maturely. So Chris, Christianity is not a religion or philosophy, but a relationship and a lifestyle. So it includes others. So we should think of their good and they and try to help them by doing what pleases them. Even Christ did not try to please himself. So thinking others is the heart of Christ's likeness. So thinking others is the heart of Christ's likeness. So God think of our salvation, so he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us. And Jesus Christ did not think of himself. Instead, he, he, he think of our salvation that only his blood that will take away the sin of this world. So, he died on the cross for our sake. I know it's hard for us to think others. But we thank God. He has given us a helper. The Holy Spirit. God given us his spirit. That's why we don't think that the same way the people of this world think. So that's the end of our day 23, how we grow. To wrap up, first, what, uh, uh, how we grow first is to uh, do, um, do our part and also and God will do his part. So second is changing our autopilot. So change the way we think. So we think like Christ and think also for others so let us uh, ponder let's ponder this it is never too late to start growing so let's remember ephesians 4 15 god wants us to grow up so let's answer this question you may comment your answer so what is the area where i need to stop thinking my way and start thinking god's way Let us pray. Holy and mighty God, thank you for your message and we should grow spiritually by joining any activities of our church. To think like you is thinking others, not ourselves. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy, we think about such things. Help us, O Lord, to do such Help us to work out our salvation that you, that you freely gave us, that we will grow in spiritual things continuously until the day of your coming. Live up to you this day, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.